So you've started your Forge server, and if you haven't yet, well, that's actually the first video that you need to go watch at the eye at the top of your screen. That's gonna show you how to start a Forge server, which is required in order to add mods to Minecraft 1.18.2 servers. So unfortunately, if you started a server with vanilla or started a server with paper, vanilla servers can't have mods at all, and paper has plugins, right? So if you're looking to add plugins to your server, you're on the wrong video anyway. Just Google how to add plugins to a Minecraft server. We'll pop up, and when we do, click on that video, and we'll help you out. However, if you do wanna add mods, to your server, this is the perfect video. The first step though is getting a Forge server set up like the one we have on our screen here. How do you know if you have a Forge server? Well, there's a few ways, but the primary one is going to be having a mods folder here. If you have a mods folder, chances are you have a Forge Minecraft server. So good job there. And if you don't, no worries. Like I said, we have an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to do that. So go watch that video and then come back here. Once you're ready though, let's get some mods. The first part of that though is actually installing something else. Now we do this automatically in our Forge server video. So if you went through that video, you've already done this. However, you do need to install Forge locally. That means in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a Forge installation, a Forge profile to be able to play like what we have right here. So as you can see, there's Forge. If you've got that, it's for 1.18.2, you're good, right? You're good to go. Otherwise, you need to get that by going through the link here in the description down below. Another reason we put this Forge link in the description is because your friends will need to install Forge locally on their computer as well as every single mod that's on your server locally on their computer in order to play on your server. So both your server and all of the players on your server must have the mods installed in order for them to work. Nevertheless though, you've got Forge, let's download some mods. Now any Forge Minecraft mod for 1.18.2 will work with this video, right? They'll work on your server, they'll be installed and you'll be able to play them. However, for this video, we're gonna be using just enough items, which you can find linked in the description down below along with all the rest of the mods we're installing here. Then it'll take you to an in-depth guide where you wanna scroll down, click the download button, and that takes you to CurseForge, where on the right-hand side, you wanna scroll down and make sure you download the 1.18.2 version of JEI, right here it is. Click on the download button there, and it'll download after a few seconds, where you may need to keep or save the file. While that's downloading though, how about a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft Forge server quickly and easily. In under five minutes, you can have a Forge server up and running with Apex. It's the easiest way to host a server. It can be public, it can be private. It's on amazing hardware, guaranteed to be lag free, and overall an amazing experience with 24 hour, seven day a week support. We love the system so much that we host our own servers on there. So go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, next mod is Xero's Minimap. Once you're here, scroll down, click that download button. But one thing I want to mention about Xero's Minimap is that we want to make sure you're downloading the Forge version here for Forge 1.18.2. We're not interested in Fabric. Fabric won't work with this server we have. We need the Forge version. Click download and that will also download after a few seconds. The last mod here is Spark. And the reason we have Spark included here is because Spark helps you identify lag on your server using CPU profiling. So long story short is this is an anti or a lag detection mod that helps you diagnose lag on the server. And that's why we have it here. So click that download button and then click download on the right hand side. Again, making sure it's for Forge 1.18.2. After that download is complete, we can get these installed on our server and locally on our computer. Again, both are required. So there we go, Spark is downloaded. Now we can minimize our browser. We wanna take these and now move them to our desktop. By default, they're gonna be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads, you'll have this here. Open up your downloads folder and drag all the mods to your desktop. Once they're on your desktop, we want to go ahead and kind of align them so we can easily select them all. Then we want to open up our Forge server profile or Forge server folder here, and then open up the mods folder. What we then want to do is take all of these mods on our desktop, highlight them all right like so, right click and click copy. Then we want to come into the mods folder here, right click and click paste. Boom, now all of these mods are in your mods folder, right like so. Now, we also need to install them locally. We're gonna do that kind of the old fashioned way. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And before we start Minecraft, that way we don't have to restart it, let's just go ahead and install them. To do this, we wanna go ahead and click on the installations tab up at the top of Minecraft here. So click on installations at the top. Then hover over your Forge profile and click the little uh, folder here, right on the right hand side. That's gonna open up your Minecraft folder where you should have this mods folder. Now, I just deleted mine because you may not have yours. And if you don't, just right click and create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and now drag and drop all of the mods you just added to your server into the mods folder here as well. 
Now, before we close out of this, make sure they're both in your local mods folder and in your server mods folder. Sometimes you can accidentally drag them from one to the other. So they are in both here. That's our server and that's locally. Now we can come back to Minecraft, hover over Forge, click play, click play again to open up Minecraft with our mods. And we also need to start our Forge server by double clicking on the run.bat file. Once both of these are up, I will meet you to show you it's all working. So let's go ahead and jump to them. So here we are, our server is open on the left and on the right, we have Minecraft. If we go ahead and click on mods, we can see there is Spark, Xero's minimap and just enough items all installed. Now keep in mind, anyone who joins your server, your friends, anyone who joins your server will need all of the mods that are on your server installed locally like we have here. So they will also need just enough items, Xero's minimap and Spark added to their Minecraft mods folder in order for this to work. Nevertheless, at this point, we can go ahead and click done, click multiplayer and direct connect right on in to our local IP address because this is just a local server here. And when we join in, we'll be able to see that Spark is working, that Just Enough Items is working and that Xero's minimap is all working in Minecraft 1.18.2. As you can see, Xero's minimap up here on the top left is working. I believe is it uh, I, U, U is the one to add a waypoint here. So we can mark this as spawn and confirm. Click done and there we go, spawn is now marked. And in the top left, as you can see, the minimap is generating. For just enough items, hit I and there it is. There's just enough items. We can go ahead and see how to craft different things in Minecraft quite easily. See, looking good. However, we're still not complete just yet because there's one more mod and that's Spark. And like I said, Spark helps you identify lag. So if your server is lagging, you simply want to type slash sampler, right like so, or is it Spark sampler? I forget uh, what it is on mods and then dash dash start. So it says I don't have permission to use that. That is correct. We need to come over here and opt myself. So if I opt myself and then come over here and type slash spark sampler starts, it's now doing a profile of our server CPU. And it's going to go through all of the different stuff there and figure out what all the resources are being used with. Then when we want to stop that, we just type stop and then it's going to upload those results and we can go to that link there to be able to see them, diagnose them and see what our server is lagging from. So nevertheless, that is how you can add mods to your Minecraft 1.18.2 server. These are some great mods that honestly I kind of recommend for any server out there. Specifically Spark is a must have and just enough items is a pretty good one too because it allows people to easily see how to craft some of the other mods and items from those mods that you add to your server. But at this point, you know how to add mods to a Minecraft server. And if you do have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. We are more than happy to help you out. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thanks for watching and I am out. Peace.